Hi, my name is Kojo, and I'm with this organization called Mission Driven Purpose. We are a nonprofit organization that supports the mission and the ministry of the Seventh day Adventist Church. And our goal is to spread the knowledge of a loving God throughout all of humanity. Imagine living a life without clean water. What would that look like? Surely, it would look like not being able to take a clean shower. Surely, it would look like not being able to wash our clothes with clean water. Surely, it would look like not being able to wash our dishes with clean water. Surely, it would even mean not being able to drink clean water. Truthfully speaking, it's hard for us living in the United States of America in the 21st century to imagine a life without clean water. Unfortunately, not so for a group of people that our organization discovered this year. It's a group of people who live in a place called Drabonso, Ghana. And the people in Drabonso, Ghana, this is the place where they retrieve their water. This is the place where they retrieve their water for drinking. This is the place where they retrieve their water in order to wash their dishes. This is the place where they retrieve their water in order to take care of their clothes and to do so many other things. Matter of fact, what even broke our hearts is that the same water that they use for drinking is the same water where cow dung even resides. When we saw this condition, we looked at it and we said, there is no way that any of God's children should be living this way. And so there were three options that were laid before us. We said either number one, we can do nothing about this, but we felt that that was not the right response. Or number two, we said that somebody else should do something about this. But how has that been working out for all of these years? And so there was another option that was presented to us, a powerful clarion call. Why not us? Why not you? Why don't you try and do something about this situation? By God's grace, we came across some breakthrough technology. This breakthrough technology is none other than these next level water filters. Watch this demonstration right here. Check out this dirty water right here. I'm going to pass it through this filter. And as I do, guess what happens? It comes out as fresh, clean water, safe enough to, to drink. Wow, you see that? Clean water. These next level filters are more cost effective than even building water wells. They take less maintenance. They can last for over 10 years. But the best part about it is that not the fact that it was used by reputable organizations, but the best part about it is that we can put a filter into each and every single hand. Matter of fact, we have already begun to do so. Uh, about a week or two ago, we decided to do what we call a soft distribution, where we went to the people of Drabonso in order to hand out 25 of these filters. Take a look at these pictures over here. We took the filter and attached it to a bucket so that as it was attached to a bucket, when they go to the streams to pick up dirty water, they can filter it through that filter and it can become clean. Here is the testimony of one person who saw that this filter was a blessing to their lives. That is the clean water we are having. Come on, come on, come on. So a demonstration from one of the community members. Look at how the water looks like and after it passed through the filter. Very clean. Very clean. Yes, indeed. In the next month, we are getting ready to go to Ghana and do a distribution of over one thousand filters. You heard that right. One thousand filters. And so at this moment, we are reaching out to churches. Specifically, we're reaching out to see if you would be willing to donate one filter. One filter alone costs $40, and this can radically change a person's life forever.
And we're appealing to this congregation to see if this congregation as a group can be able to help us raise 25 filters that we are seeking in order to raise. And so wherever you are, there are many ways that you can be able to contribute and to donate to this project. Thank you and may God bless you.